Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, the people who are creating these technologies, why are they so strict with their kids' media when you think they might want to pass on yeah. these things to their children? Well, this isn't some secret hidden knowledge. Like the American Academy of Pediatrics has said for many years, please, no media for children under the age of two. And that's not going that far. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're being pretty wimpy on that, if yeah. you ask me. In fact, there was a period of time where the AAP removed that recommendation. The child development community and scientists and, and everybody who knows the, the research on this was up in arms. They're like, AAP, American Academy of Pediatrics, mm -hmm. the guardians of children, how could you withdraw that recommendation of please no media before the age of two. And then they put it back on. <laughs> so they rep responded to pressure, not science. That's um, unfortunate. World Health Organization, yeah, some problems there for sure. But one thing they got right is please no screen time for children before the age of five. They said the less the better before the age of five. So these, when you interview these, not just Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, but like I was mentioning, the engineers at the Silicon Valley mm -hmm. firms, you say, you know, the, wh why do you do it the way you do it and what ages? They are waiting till later. And the key is the stimulant level. If, you're, if you've got a nature-paced video, uh, research on that does not show harm. Like Mr. Rogers paced, you know, uh, yeah. screen time. And Mr. Rogers is even slower than nature, right? Yeah, yeah. So Dr. <laughs> Dimitri Christakis at Seattle Children's Hospital yep. many years ago has shown when children are watching cartoons, when children are watching regular entertainment videos, not to mention interactive screen time, which is an even higher mm -hmm. stimulant level, it is harmful to their attention span, which is a proxy for saying hurting their frontal lobe development. So they will have more tantrums. They will have less emotional self-regulation, mm -hmm. more disruptive moods, and all the problems that go with inhibited frontal lobe. So Kurt Stock has found, though, when you have an, a, a control group that's watching Mr. Rogers, they don't have those same attention span hits that the kids who are watching the cartoons and the other videos. So it's stimulant is the key.